the station. That's right. All right. Well, we're never going to agree on this. So <laughs> every 11 minutes, someone in America dies from an opioid overdose. And now an Ohio doctor has been charged with 25 counts of murder and accused of deliberately causing patients' death by prescribing them fatal doses of opioids. CBS This Morning has the details. Prosecutors say Amy Pfaff's mother, Beverly Scherzinger, could have improved with proper medical treatment. But they say she died after her doctor, William Husel, prescribed a fatal dose of the powerful painkiller fentanyl. The fact that he gave it to one patient and then gave it to another, and um, it's upsetting. Husel is charged in the overdose deaths of 25 patients between 2015 and 2018. According to investigators, he ordered doses that were between 10 and 40 times greater than deemed medically appropriate. The charges form one of the biggest murder cases ever brought against a U.S. healthcare professional. This breach of a doctor's oath is vile and worthy of today's actions. And that begins the process of holding this accused killer criminally accountable. But Husel's attorney says his client never intended to speed up any patient's death. I think it's important that everyone watching this understand that the patients that we're talking about are end-of-life patients. They're, we're going to die whether Dr. Husel was on or whether another doctor uh, was on. Right. So do you think this doctor should have been charged with murder? Yes. 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 And also, he claims he's innocent, but one death maybe could be classified as a mistake. But 25, either you're evil or you're just an idiot and you're not safe That's right. to be in society. So let's right. just put him away in a cage. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. That's you know, right. Th this is really sad, but I have a friend of mine who was an attorney in Guatemala, and she moved over here, and she had this older man that was a really close friend of hers, and he was um, dying of cancer, sadly, and he was in the hospital and going through a really difficult time, and she was there every day because as his interpreter and sort of as his best friend and support system, as we all should have somebody by our side. And in the end, his insurance was running out, and as his insurance was running out, it was, she said something to the effect of, like, that the day it would have been they weren't going to pay anymore was the day that he was he passed away and she felt that they had injected him with something that happened oh. to my grandmother last yeah, year so and it's really horrible oh i'm so sorry and yeah. because it's almost like we have to remember they also it's a business and they want the bed frida mm -hmm. They, if, they're not, if you're not going to have insurance while you're in there, they don't really want you there. So you always have to really look out for yourself and have a support system mm -hmm. with you to just make sure, just make sure everything's okay. I'm what not saying that's what happened in this situation. With your grandmother, that's terrible. Uh, she was, uh, she was given, she was running, she'd run out of money mm -hmm. at the time and she mm -hmm. hadn't spoken to anyone of us about it. Mm -hmm. And then she died very mysteriously and left a voicemail. Uh, to a member of our family saying that they were trying to kill her and oh, by the time oh, anyone wow. got it uh, She was dead because oh they took her phone away. So Wow, yes. it does but really you know, genuinely just, happen. But Sharon yes. the, the look on our faces when you heard them say they were in the life patients, mm -hmm. but that's not his choice to that's make. Not his, that's not, not his choice. choice. It's not it's Nobody should nobody right. should say that. Also, like a record I believe yes. we I believe we read that he uh, in 1994 perhaps mm -hmm. had been improperly storing uh, like bomb. a pipe bomb a pipe bomb, a pipe bomb in his college so yeah. I mean this is someone who's even been he's got a record how is he even allowed to practice and, I, and I know one nobody, of the but nobody should make that decision mm -hmm. for you right. oh right. it doesn't matter they were gonna die anyway uh, so what if we took it a couple of months earlier no, it's never anybody should decide when it's your time to die. That's right. Never. That's right. It's so wrong for a doctor. You're yeah. meant to save lives, not bring it on quicker. One of, the, one of the people I know in this case is saying that her mother wasn't about to die, that she could have recovered. That's, that's what right. it sounds like anyway. Yeah. That's oh, what she's yeah. claiming. But, and shout out to the pharmacist who alerted everybody that mm -hmm. he was ordering too much of this. And I thought the Hippocratic Oath was first do no harm. So you should not be a doctor if you're not going to stand by that. That's right.